Now, I know we've gone on a lot of crazy missions in this game, and we've done a lot of crazy things in this series, but, like, I think this is the first one I really understand. Ditching my responsibilities and running away with a redhead. This I can do. The real question is, what is it I'm doing, exactly? Besides abusing the trust of everyone who's worked with me over the last however many years. Uh, <laughs> can I just look around? Uh, do I have to go indirectly? Can I go over this way? Can I get back to these guys? Oh. I can straight up just leave? Hines waits for you in the church basement inside the walls, not outside, stupid. The Falcon's just up there watching, judging. You'll never get with the redhead! Stop judging me, Falcon! You can't tell me what I can't do. Let me dream. Oh, let me dream. Mm hmm. So we got away. We got to All right. So let's do. Let's just like go through. But first, I want to do this. I know what I just said made no. Let's go through. Clearly, that's what we're gonna do. But I meant like. <laughs> I gotta learn to be more descriptive. But let's go through. What I meant is like right to left. Is what I meant. The shield of Sir Roderick de Gary? De, de Gary. Crowned by the stupid symbol of a power they crave but don't deserve. Mm -hmm. oh! The key to a door that anyone can access because there's nothing to hide. Okay. Alright, um, you know what I should be doing? Looking at me really quick. You see, Catter, even though it looks like it should be Cater, I don't know, so often that the scratches on your back never heal completely. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> my. That girl should take care of her nails. Or not. <laughs> this effing game. Uh-huh. When Ines asked you to forge a satanic medallion for him, you decide to make another one for yourself, but with a symbol you could respect. A triskelion? Triskeleton? The Celtic symbol of the never-ending search for knowledge. Your palm has been itching ever since you woke up this morning. Hmm. Uh oh. As luxurious as they are uncomfortable, were they not a present from Catter, you'd get rid of them. Your feet will never wear anything like this again. Is that it, huh? Oh, we got this. You haven't worn such rich embroidered clothing since you were captured by the Inquisition and lost your noble rank. Okay, so let's hit here. Ooh, hold on, there was a guy back there. It leads to the main hall of the church. Ines waits below. It's locked, but the key is usually close at hand as proof that there is nothing to hide. Hold on. What about this guy? It was Ines' idea to engrave three of the six symbols of the alchemic materials needed to create the transmutation potion on each of the gargoyles. Why are there so many grotesque figures in churches? Divinity should be beautiful, shouldn't it? Although, in the case of this specific church, monstrosity makes a lot of sense. I always thought that the purpose was they were there supposed to, like, scare you and warn you and, like, only God can save your ass. The Treaty of the Flesh said that fire should be used in the transmutation potion to honor someone or something. You'd never been able to find out the meaning for the unpronounceable word that followed. Hines' ignorance makes it much clearer. Fire to honor Satan. Mercury to remember, as written in the Treaty of the Flesh. Does that mean if you prepare the potion without mercury, whoever drinks it will come back without memory? <laughs> That'd be crazy if that's what happened. Iron to forge the soul anew, said the Treaty of the Flesh. Unfortunately, it also said that it should come from Deep Cave, where a saint's hand burned with light. That was one of the reasons why the Order of Flesh was established here. I've already seen... Oh, Giuseppe used to call the gargoyles in Santa Brigida Ursulites? Ursulites? Are you about to make me Google that? <laughs> about to make me Google that? All right, I guess that's it. Mm, nope, I back. So then we can come over and look at this one. It was Ines' idea. Okay, sure. 
If you really descend from the devil, are you like this on the inside? Sulfur, like salt, purifies the soul. <laughs> salt seemed like the easiest alchemic element to find, but it turned out it had to come from the tears of a virgin bathing in the Dead Sea, so it took some time. If they, if they could just update this for modern times, then uh, a few gamers and we'd have ourselves a whole bunch of immortals. Aside from the coin of judgment, gold is the most important element in the transmutation potion because it makes the soul come to life. Uh huh. We can look at this stuff, right? It lights not only this tiny hall, but also the way to the basement at night. Something that both you and Ines do often. So this door, the private chapel of Sir Roderick, Lord of the Castle. You can't go inside. It was built for appearances because as a member of the Order of Flesh, Sir Roderick play, plays? Plays to Satan only. Rock! All right, well, I have the key, so I guess we're going in. Uh, so let's do this. Yep, everything's good. Hit it with the key. The key works. Anybody can enter the church. There's nothing to hide. Except what is under the tombstone in front of the altar. That really should be closed. Hmm. What else do I have to look at? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got a... Inez insisted the church should be fitted with saints. Maybe to compensate for the number of heretics. Can I look at these saints? Trying to think about just before, you know, just looking around just in case. Okay, who are you? St. Fergus, patron of this church. It's all... Who's St. Fer... What is he pat... What is the patron of? St. Dunivald of... Ogilvy? The father of nine virgins devoured by a giant snake in a well. Is there a snake at the bottom of the well in the basement too? Let's hope not. Someone better call that Potter kid. St. Constantine, the Briton king of Strathclyde, who abdicated to become a monk, almost like you, who went from duke's heir to deacon. But the table will turn again soon. Mm hmm Okay. Saint Edan. <laughs> Edan? Captured by the Vikings. They chopped off his fingers so he couldn't use the bow, a weapon he mastered. I got stuff to look at here? Huh! O oh, Saint Dan, bless the arrows that our Lord Sir Roderick will shoot during tomorrow's hunt in your honor and in that of your holy brother. <laughs> now they're mine, suckers. Okay. That's, I mean, oh, is this, and the bow's going to be here? I don't know why I'm taking this stuff from him, but I'm taking it. That's, it's just going to happen. Okay, let's go to this guy. Saint Philin, who according to legend, found the entrance to hell in a cave and managed to escape by reading the Bible thanks to miraculous light shining from his hand. Ooh, just like the alchemy thing, okay. Looking for iron for the transmutation potion, you and Ines found the cave too. It's under your feet. Saint Ethernan, Ethernan was killed during a Viking raid on the Isle of May, along with its 6,600 inhabitants. Today, it is only inhabited by the monks in the abbey erected in his honor. One of them, Frey Sukin, secretly works for the Order of Flesh, and thanks to him, you found two coins of judgment. Saint Rognvald Kali Colson, oh my god, who went on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land in search of the Holy Grail, a symbol of your search for the coin of judgment according to Hines. Then we got this. St. Alec was captured by the Viking with his brother. They plucked his eyes out so he couldn't use the bow, a weapon he mastered. St. Dan and St. Alec escaped the Vikings after stealing a bow and a quiver. Blind Alec shot the arrows given by Fingerless Idan, who also told him where to aim. That's teamwork is what that is. Brotherly teamwork. Oh, St. Alec, bless this crossbow that will be shot by our Lord Sir Roderick during tomorrow's hunt, in your honor and in that of your holy brother. I got that too! Nice. So we have a bunch of stuff here. So let's go to the back first. Whoop, 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 whoop,
Oh, come on. I just want... I just want to get... <laughs> let me... Let me... <laughs> come on. There we go. Hines, a lover of Paris, ordered that the rose windows in this church imitate those of Notre Dame. Can I look around? Uh, no, I guess that's it for that. Really not that worth it. <laughs> I struggled to get there. Who left the door open? The order rules forbid that. The salt compartment, it's empty. The mercury compartment... The normal way to open the gravestone is using a key that only Ines has. The sulfur compartment. This compartment, along with the other three on the cross arms, form an entry mechanism that only Ines, Sir Roderick, and you know how to use. When it moves, the gravestone rises and you can go down to the basement. Guess this bottom one. The fire compartment. In case of emergency, you must fill all four compartments with the corresponding chemical element so the gravestone opens. Okie dokie. Let's go down. Hines. Oh. Oh shit, it's the title screen. My good Vulcan. About time you showed up. Come here. Good Ursus and I have something to show you. Uh. I guess we'll just go down the list. I hope Ursus hasn't beaten him too much. The last victim was in such a state that I couldn't even torture him. What? Oh, don't worry. But it may take you some time to wake him up. I'm sorry. I'm late. I overslept. Don't worry. As long as you oversleep alone. As a deacon of the Holy Church, you can't afford the least scandal. And we can't always throw your whores into the well. What? what? What has happened since last we saw him? This is a dark period of his life. Wow. The implication there is they just got a, a whore well out back. Is that what I'm? Is that what I'm getting? Also, first off, don't call her a whore. She's a beautiful lady, who I love. So don't make me come at you. Today is the day. The key to absolute knowledge will be ours. The key to immortality. That's not what I seek. I know, but remember, limitless life, limitless knowledge. The entrance to the basement is open. What? Open? Are you nuts, Ursus? Hurry, finish tying up the prisoner and stand guard at the chapel door. No one can come in or out but me, Vulcan, Sir Roderick, or his slutty wife. Good. What? Let's get to the important part. He just slipped that, he just slipped that shit in? Stop no talking about her like that. Torture him. But save the best for the meeting of the Order. And try the same thing you did to the Saxon moron. The guests have come long and far. They'll be thirsty for the blood of our prisoner. The first transmuted being in history. The first immortal. What? And what about Frey Seocan? Oh, in the well. And this rascal was eavesdropping. I'll be in the workshop getting ready for the ritual. Do a good job. His cries will inspire me. <laughs> what the hell? You've tortured men, women, elders, noblemen, and servants. But never a child. Your first reaction is to free him and escape. But you've been waiting for tonight's ritual for far too long. You hope they can escape, but you'll pretend you killed him. That's my plan? Then you'll look for another victim to replace him in the ritual. And when you confirm that the transportation potion works, you'll drink it yourself. Then you'll take control of your life. I, is that how you think all this is gonna play out, dude? Oh my God. Well, this is, this is a backstory I didn't think we needed, but we do. Unlike the Star Wars prequels, I need this information, but this is bonkers. All right. um. Can I look at? Can I do anything besides talk to this boy? There's this. The first time you saw such a tool, your whole life went to hell. You turn the handle to separate the two boards as much as possible. Then you put the prisoner's ankle between them. Then you turn the handle in the opposite direction, so the nails pierce the flesh. 
Do I, I mean, I can do that again. Oh, no, I can take it. Okay, I thought it was just giving me the same text. Can I walk away from this? I can. All right, let's talk to this kid really quick. The death of a child, uh-oh. Will the salvation of another child be your downfall? Floor. Red, like the hair of the children you'll have if you decide to flee with Kato after saving him. We're planning so far ahead. I don't think we're going to get out of this damn room. The leather strap allows the prisoner to move his head a bit, enabling him to make a great show of his pain, much to the audience's delight. Isn't that the exact opposite of what that's supposed to do? This is like amateur torture hour. Did he have that stain before, or did he get trying to escape when Ines found him eavesdropping? That's it, huh? I can't look at anything else. <sighs> okay. He sleeps so soundly that no matter how much you speak, he doesn't wake up. What has Ursus done to him? So I guess the point is I need to go look at stuff. All right. So let's see, we have him, we have the symbol. Ooh, there's a small secret hiding place that only you and Ines know about. For that same reason, you won't be able to use it to help the kid escape. Uh, what, is that? what does that mean? Why did it show me the book? Why did it show me the hiding place? I'm so con- So there is, is that a clue that I'm supposed to be using? The furrows in the pentagram channel, the blood of the tortured, to make it visible. Okay. So there's an exit. Let's go around the outside just to... Nope. There's the uh, dark portal, guys. Huge Warcraft fans in this temple. Whoa! The grandstand will be filled with members of the Order of the Flesh. Like every year since it's found... In... in, in Yep, foundation, seven years ago. It's old English, so of course it makes sense what I just read. Can I look at this big old Satan up here? You had an argument with Ines when you built the church. You didn't want those kinds of symbols, but he insisted that in order to attract noblemen and their money, you need a sense of show business. Have you seen the devil in his big bowl of fire? I know it's amazing. Come for the well of whores, stay for the devil bowl. Speaking of which, can I come down here and uh, look in the old <laughs> the old whore well? Uh, any ladies of the night down there? Oh my god! Whoa! That was a cutscene I didn't expect. None of those who have voluntarily jumped into the well of truth have come back to tell you if it's got a bottom. Wait, when the kid escapes, you'll tell Enos that you lost control, killed the kid, then threw him into the well. He'll scold you, but his rage is always temporary. He'll tell Ursus to look for another victim, and you'll carry on with the ritual as if nothing had happened. Okay, so now we have an alibi for the kid. All right. Let me look at these symbols. One of the symbols that you copied mentally from the cover of the Tree of Flesh. Can you say the same thing for all these? Enos insists on having the symbols from the Tree of Flesh around the well. It adds to the drama. Okay, so that's like an, an ice cream cone with a butt. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, okay. Even if you can pronounce the names of all the symbols, you don't really know what they stand for. What is this one? Oh, the ice cream cone with a butt. Enes insists on having all the symbols from the Treaty of Flesh. Yeah, that's the drama. Okay. Old butt ice cream cone. The torture rack that Ines baptized as the confessional after you showed your skill with the Saxon moron. Luckily, you're not going to torture anybody today if everything goes as planned. So there's this passage back here. Where's There's two passages. That probably takes me upstairs to the... 
May oh, we got this. Sometimes you wake up sweating after dreaming of things that Ines has done there. And you too. And no, we're not talking about mere tortures. What? What are, what are we talking about? It got super dark all of a sudden. The amount of oil needed to run this temple seems very, very high. That's probably a massive expense here. What are the budgetary concerns of being in a satanic cult? Just questions I have. Good night. During your long nights working at the forge, you keep yourself entertained by throwing things into that metal bucket. Can I... Like, shoot it? The idea of throwing something into the bucket to distract Enos is quite attractive, but you'd rather not get rid of that. Hmm. Okay. So we have this. It feeds the forge's fire tirelessly. Oh, maybe that's what's causing all the fire out there. Technology. You shouldn't hide secrets from Ines, you know. Your most delicate creation. You should have given it to Catter months ago. What? Oh, he in love. But for some reason, you haven't done it yet. Are you getting cold feet? Hmm. I mean, it could be that. Or it could be that she's married and you're in a weird satanic cult and the guy she's married to is part of the reason it exists. And It's complicated. Much more than just cold feet. This is where your love for smithery and goldsmithing were forged. If you plan to start a new life, alone or with Catter, after saving the kid, at least you already have a trade. Can I get this hammer? Ooh, 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 blacksmithing! You use the hammer and anvil to shape metal. All creation is a sign of violence. I guess I just need information before I start messing with stuff, right? The first time you saw a similar will was at Ezekiel's workshop back in Santa Brigida. You'd love to see him again, but you're happy just knowing that three years ago he became the priest to the Queen of Spain. Not bad for someone who just wanted to work in his workshop. I think I helped with that, right? The Queen came, saw how amazing he was. You're welcome for getting those E's for you. Place where you and Ines keep everything you don't know what to do with. Yes, well, what if I take this crazy looking saw? A saw of proven efficiency. As the neck of the Saxon Mormon confirmed. Okay, that's just like a neck saw. Oh, alright. Okay, cool. That's. terrible. An old neck saw. Besides trying to replicate the transportation potion, Ines has been attempting to transform coal into diamonds for a long time. Coal that tried to become diamonds. Not bad. Can I take any of this? Who will notice a missing marble? Damn right. Okay, so I can throw that shit in to distract him. Okay, look at this gold chalice. Uh-oh. So we have the mirror. Oh, God. <laughs> Some days I look at that reflection. And I think, is this what I become? What have I become? I, I, we, we went on a journey there. We went on a journey to get to that song. But that's fine. It's funny to think that our self-knowledge comes from something as illusory as a reflection. But you don't even have that. Are you Yago, deacon at the service of Pius Ines de Orduña, parish priest of St. Fergus Church in Inverloch? Yes? Oh, I see what you're doing. Are you Vulcan, founder and second head of the Order of the Flesh, led by the Satanic, Ines de Orduña? Or are you Miguel de Fuentenegra, son of the devil, saved by the Inquisition by the cunning Ines de Orduña? Why you gotta be one thing? Why can't you be all those things, man? That's what makes you so special. The chalice made by you that Ines will pour the transmutation potion into. According to Enos' plan, the kid will drink it after being savagely tortured by you. Then you'll kill him. If the kid comes back to life, like the Treaty of Flesh says, that will mean the potion works and you'll be able to drink it too. 
Let's see if you managed to change the first part without altering the second. A spool of white thread. Thin, but resistant. And now it's mine. Weird little vials. Oh, 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 hold on. Leather tubes that carrier pigeons once carried in their beaks until they met Herm... Herm... Der? <laughs> okay, I have one of those. Is Her Hermder the falcon outside? Ground radish powder from Japan. The itch it causes, particularly to the nose, is so powerful that it can wake a dead man. Ah, for the kid outside. Or a man that should hold up a bit more before dying, to be precise. Okay, so I have that now. All right, so after we clear this room, we'll go back out there and do that. Well, it's going to go over here to the old skull bookshelf. Oh, oh, we can access it. The old skull shelf, eh? A powerful sleeping powder that you use to kidnap volunteers for Ine's potions. Okay, I got that too now. Hmm. Can't have that, like, nipple mixer? <laughs> that baby bottle mixer? Powdered glycerfliza glabra. Also known as licorice. Oh, okay. Ines uses it as a sweetener for his most disgusting potions. However, he used it to take the sweetness out of Sir Roderick's life. Damn! <laughs> you are scandalous. You are scandalous right now, my dude. Now you know where to find something to write with if you ever need it. You're lucky the ink is not dry, as it is often the case. So if I need to write something. Paper. There's not as much as in Santa Brigida, but there's enough to jot down your scientific findings. This skull, this skull has seen better, better days. Look at this. <laughs> I'm a skull, everybody. An unusually small skull. What else can you expect from the Saxon moron? Why do they keep, hmm. why do they keep calling him that? Was that his name? I feel like that wasn't his name. They're just rude. Think of all the unsuccessful transmutation potions. Guinness has brewed in here with your help. Ooh, that one's like an ice cream cone maker. One of the many flasks used in alchemic science known as a Florence flask. What the hell? A still that Ines uses to distill alcohol. He never drinks it since he hates that vice. Hmm. hmm. Usually there are rats in there. They're not the most reliable experiment subjects, but they're easy to catch and no one misses them. That's it, huh? And then we got, what the hell is this? Q bit Ines during the ritual. Q, instead of killing it, Ines let it die of hunger in there. Q, what the hell is, was that a dog? Q, Q? I don't know how to pronounce that. He said that the wailing and pestilence inspired him. Now he misses his dear dog. Well, that's what you get for being the obvious villain. You lock a dog in, like, a hanging cage, you're the obvious villain. Is that just a glove up there? Ines falconry glove. He never lets anyone borrow it. What would happen if Ines knew that sometimes you use it to send love messages to Kater via Hermdor? Okay, so that is the falcon. Hmm. If you want to take it, Ines mustn't see you. Hmm, Okay. After many years of searching for the Coin of Judgment, the main element of the transportation potion according to the Treaty of Flesh, Brother Siuken found not one but two in the empty eye sockets of a skeleton in a Viking boat run aground on the shore of an almost unreachable beach on the Isle of May. Two Coins of Judgment needed for the transportation potion that will give you eternal life. I can't take them, hmm. huh? The heads of both coins show a satanic symbol, the why that you also saw on the back cover of the Treaty of the Flesh back at Santa Brigida. There is no doubt that they are true coins of judgment. Some of the symbols on the back of the coins match the ones on the Treaty of Flesh. Alright. So the real trick is going to be finding a way to get him 
away from that desk. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, well, actually, mm -hmm. hold on. Can I look at him? Can I give him the old once over? Your friend, protector, mentor, and yet you're going to disobey him by helping that kid escape. He's not as old as he looks, but obsessing is surely an aggravating circumstance in the crime of aging. Yet, if the transportation potion works, both you and he will cease to commit it. You've never fully believed that satanic discourse, nor the fact that you are the devil's son, or that the Treaty of Flesh was written by him. And yet, Ines believes it all, or he likes to think he does. If you never believed, why are we going so ham on this? I guess after a while, you just get caught up with bad people, and you become a bad person, man. Like Ursus, he's already wearing the garments of the Order. Even if the ritual won't take place until tonight, he's way too excited. Like you'd be if you weren't on this stupid child-saving quest. Wearing sandals. Sandals and... Alright, I thought he was doing sandal socks. I was like, he truly is evil. Let's talk. Tell me, Ines. You called me that upstairs. Remember, we're not in public, my good Vulcan. When you found the Order, Ines thought it'd be a good idea that all members had a secret name for dramatic effect. You're right. Lord Bile. Lord Bile? Lord Bile? Hmm. This really is like, this really is like the Star Wars prequels. They're just giving each other names now. <laughs> Lord Bile? That's what he went with? Out of all the names he could have gone, he went with Bile? I guess maybe because he works with the alchemy stuff and then you work with the forge, so you're Vulcan. Is that sort of what this is like? However, you feel it's become something more than just a flashy nickname for him. As of tomorrow, I will cease to pretend that I'm Father Heathner's parish priest of St. Fergus Church in Inverloch. And you, stop hmm. pretending you're Deacon Yaga. Alright, let's talk about this potion. Do you think this time we'll get it right? Sure. We only needed the coins. I've got the rest of the ingredients down. But I won't prepare the potion until the very last moment, right before the ritual. Oh my god, okay. Do you really think they're from the devil? Without a doubt. You've seen the pentagrams on one of the sides. The same symbols have been used with different meanings by different <laughs> cultures. And don't you think that Satan, Prince of the Cosmos, wouldn't claim the symbol that identifies him? I don't doubt his power, but... Don't argue, Vulcan. <laughs> Shot down. It's just that... Since Brother Siokan found the coins in an old Viking boat, maybe that should be our new destination. Maybe there we can find the civilization that wrote the Treaty of the Flesh. Tomorrow, my good Vulcan, we'll be immortal. We won't need the book anymore. But how much more knowledge can be <laughs> hidden in there? Oh, is there any higher knowledge than the one that allows you to reign over death? According to what I read in the Treaty of the Flesh, Two people can drink from a potion created with one coin. Tell me something I don't know. The kid will drink first. Who will drink second? When we're sure it works, I'll drink. Then we'll prepare more potion with the second coin. You, my faithful helper, will drink from it. Mm. Then Sir Roderick. Sir Roderick? Why him? Without him, we wouldn't have this church, Falcon nor an alibi, nor anything else. He deserves it. So, do you, am I basically trying to make an immortal girlfriend? Is this happening again? Is this happening again? John, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Didn't work out, it's, okay, you know what? I, a plan's a plan. I, I seriously think that's what his plan is. Although, does that make Pauline? His second immortal girlfriend? God bless, dude. God bless. What would happen if we prepared the potion with the coin, but excluded one of the ingredients? Yesterday Which one. <laughs> uh, no salt or sulfur. Ooh, I like this. Because we know what happens if you leave out the mercury. 
So, yeah. Oh, this is interesting. The aim of salt and sulfur is to purify the soul before its return. Without those ingredients, the drinker would come back with a contaminated soul. A mm. demon. A monster. Interesting. What would happen if we prepared the potion with the coin, but excluded one of the ingredients? Which one? Mercury ensures that the transmuted being comes back to life with his memory intact. It would be horrible if we forgot to add mercury to our potion. But, as I'm sure you understand, I can't allow myself to make such a mistake. What would happen if we... Okay. Which one? Which one? Iron is used to forge the soul again, and gold to make it come back to life. I'm not sure what would happen if we skipped one of those. A soulless being? Or perhaps the body wouldn't come back to life? What would happen if we prepared? So you need so you need those two no matter what. What about fire? According to the Treaty of the Flesh, fire is used to honor an unknown entity. Satan. I'm not that sure. But I am. Plus, we need fire to melt the coin of judgment. What would happen if we prepared? Alright. That's kind of stuff that I never expected them to give us answers to or even let us inquire about, but. I like that we got our answers. I like that we have that information. I'd like to clarify something about the kid. I feel weird torturing a kid. Maybe we can find another volunteer. I don't know what bothers me more, Vulcan. The sudden hint of a conscience within your dark soul, or your questioning of my orders. Hmm. We said we would not use servants of Sir Roderick as victims. The kid was eavesdropping, Vulcan. What will happen when the mother starts looking for him? Oh, you're right. Oh, well, luckily we're in no shortage of poison. Oh, shit! All right. The kid is taking the place that Seokan deserved for finding the coins. He was one of ours. But we can't just get a random kid and make him immortal. He'll be too powerful. Tell me something I don't know. He'll be tied until we prove the potion has worked and has no secondary effects. Then, we'll throw him in the well, where he'll enjoy immortality without becoming a nuisance. What? Although I do have a lot of questions about becoming an immortal kid. Do you age up? Well, I guess you do, because... At the beginning of the game, aging was a problem, right? And so then when you die, you go back to... Wow, he would have, like, the best use of immortality. Because he'd come back as a kid and he'd get to do it all over again. Oh, my God. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, he lucks out. Ines. He, he gets old and comes back old. I feel, for, I feel for him. The kid is not easy to torture. I mean, I've never tortured such a tiny body. I hope I don't make a mistake. Oh, I trust your skill, Vulcan. <laughs> I hope I don't make a mistake on his tiny, tiny body. I'll never understand why he can be so loyal to you while he still believes in the Christian God. I remember, mm. I saved his life. Some people value such a thing. Maybe we don't need Ursus to mount guard at the church door. I close the door, take the key, and problem solved. No, I'd rather have him there. Just in case Sir Roderick comes. I mean, Lord Behemoth. These, these names. These names are worse than, like, <laughs> really bad X-Men names. I just... <laughs> it's killing me. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't have killed the Saxon moron. You seem to think otherwise when you tortured him. What if he served someone, and now they're looking for him? He'd have confessed. Whom could he be serving? The Inquisition. Bah. If the Inquisition knew of our existence, they'd come with a small army instead of infiltrating a moron among our members. <laughs> this man's name is Saxon Moron! Come on, now! It's very strange that our Spanish friend hasn't arrived yet. He's always the first one. Hmm. We'll never be thankful enough to him. It's a shame we must kill him tomorrow. What? We'll be immortal, Vulcan. We won't need anybody's money anymore. The Order of the Flesh will die tomorrow. 
I don't trust Sir Roderick. I do. Besides, we need him. There are some doors that no commoner can open, no matter how immortal he is. My father was the Duke of Fuentenegra. Your father is Satan. Miguel de Fuentenegra died in the dungeon I saved you from. What will happen to Lady Cat here? That cold fish. I guess her legitimate master and husband, Lord Beermoth, will kill her tomorrow. Did you know? She can't even satisfy him anymore. Why? Why would you include that? Also, I know, she told me herself, but like, uh, 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 why would that be included in this conversation? Is, is that the reason why he's going to kill her? Oh my god, get out. That's, yep, that is exactly what I'm thinking. Get out of the whole situation. Why don't you go out and get some fresh air, Hines? Lord Bile. And no, I won't rest until the ritual is over. Okay. Well, do you think I can go back now that I have the thing that wakes people up and uh, wake this kid up? Talk to him? Okay. What is the thing I need to do? It's this, right? Yeah, because this is licorice. Okay. Wake your ass up. Kill me. Soothe him. I won't hurt you. Calm down. No, please. Try again? Shh. Listen to me. I am here to save you. But I need you to calm down. I wasn't spying. One more time. Think of your mother. She'll be looking for you. What? My mother? Now that you've calmed down, answer Has my he? questions. And I'll do whatever is in my hands to save you. No. Save my mother. She is not in danger. I said that so you would shut up. Gave away the game there, my dude. Okay. Talk about me. Enough about you and your mother. Let's talk about me. Do you know who I am? You are Deacon Iago, Father Hines' helper. Sundays after Mass, you read books and tell legends to those of us who can't understand the written word. Can you tell me which book I read to you? Yes, Sir Iago. It's been months since you started reading us the Divine Comedy. But Dante, the Italian, I hope one day I can learn to read like you. Do you remember any of the stories I told you? Yes. My favorite one is that of Bertrand the Wizard. Refresh my memory. Bertrand, native to Languedoc in France, could move objects with his mind. The Inquisition accused him of sorcery and put a rope around his neck, but made sure his feet touched the ground so that he wouldn't choke. They cut off his right leg and flung it out in front of him. Show your power by attracting it back to you. Bertrand died three days later when his left leg failed. He never stopped staring at the right leg on the ground. Are you sure it was the right leg that was cut off? Hmm. Is it that important? Why am I asking him these questions? And why am I why am I that inquisitive? Like, are you sure the story that I told you is the right story that I told you? Dude is tied down. <laughs> John has not gotten any more or less crazy. He has always been a crazy person. This is just proof. This is what is this what this game's telling me? John was always bonkers? Sure. What's I get your it. Your name? Fergus Quinlan, sir. I was given that name because I was born on St. Fergus Day. Hines told me you were spying on him. I didn't want to, sir. I was hiding in that room because I didn't want to clean the great cauldron. They always make me do it, and I'm sorry. I didn't want to, sir. What did you hear Hines saying? I don't know, sir. I didn't understand a thing. He and Sir Roderick talked about coins, a potion, and the devil. Now it's your turn to ask me. I... I don't understand what's happening here at all, sir. Father Hines and I are the founders of a satanic order that meets here 
in the basement of this church. The Order of the Flesh. Well, we... All right, I'm sure this will go over well. If I fail at helping you escape tonight, after torturing you for hours, we'll make you drink a certain transmutation potion. Then, we'll kill you. Then, you'll come back to life. Do you think this kid is going to understand any of this? Any of this? What you're saying to him? is gibberish. Uh, if, if I was strapped down and some guy's like, we're going to kill you, and they don't come back to life, I'd be like, I don't. What are you talking about? I'm surrounded by crazy people. Many years ago, I read several pages from a forbidden book that is now in the Vatican. One of those pages mentioned a potion that would transmute its drinker into a being able to overcome death. But among its ingredients, there was a golden coin with a strange symbol. Once a year, the night before the great hunt in honor of St. Eden and St. Alec, we meet here to offer sacrifices to Satan. But enough talking. I must find a way to get you out of here. Do me a favor. When you see me around here, shout as if I was tearing your soul out. What? <laughs> oh. This can't be happening. Boy. That's just, that's just great. He's like, all right, so here's the deal. We're going to kill you, bring you back to life. Also, there's a satanic cult, and we're about to do it right now, tonight. It's going to be wild and crazy, but enough about me. You start screaming. Really, this is, uh, let me explore him again. Is there anything new I can learn? Red hair, yeah. The strap moves his head a bit. Oh, I. Fergus's eyes awaken your sympathy. They're so similar to cat ears. Oh, okay. Yeah, saw that before. Interesting. Can I just talk to him again? Questions, answers. <laughs> I've got a bunch of these and none of these. Now, let's see if you can still reason. Friends and relatives. You've disappeared for some time now. You may be looking for you. Maybe Zachariah Gray, the kitchen boss. The one I clean for. My mother, probably not yet. She's the only one who tells me to hide and avoid some of the chores. But if she doesn't see me at night, she'll get really scared. Do you understand everything I told you about this place? And what we do here? Yes. Well, no. It was too much information. He is right about that. It's in, This is insane. This is too much. The members of the Order of the Flesh are noblemen from all over Europe. The same ones that come to the annual hunt. They have funded our search for years. But this year, we'll finally be able to show them results. You'd have been safe if a monk called... Siokan, who worked for the Order, hadn't found a couple of coins with a strange symbol a while ago. I still don't know how to help you escape, but I'll find a way soon. And when you escape, I'll say I've killed you and thrown you in the well. That way, no one will ever look for you. What about my mother? I'll comfort her. No, please. <laughs> I just... Where would he go to? Where are you? This plan, this is not a plan at all. Your escape is, I'll come up with something, and then we'll do it, and then I'll talk to your mom about it. But this poor boy, they're up in the mountains. Where the hell is this kid going? Oh, man, we have not thought this through at all. This is, is this how the no, Order of Flesh operates? Oh, my God, this is just one troubling endeavor after another. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Oh, thank God, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC! What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots! It's a production of broadcast. Now here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. You 